Welcome, my name is Kyle for the win, and welcome to episode 8 of a revisiting Call of Duty campaigns. In the last video, guys, we played the missions called Warpig, Shamrock and Awe, and Aftermath. Very, very fun missions. Uh, Aftermath is a very dark mission. Uh, it's not really a mission mission. Basically, it's just after a nuclear explosion goes off and shows what we do, what like what we do after we crash our plane uh this now this mission these two missions were pretty fun as well very intense uh, but the graphics in this game are amazing i've said that many many times before but today guys we are starting act two so in this video we're playing the mission called safe house and it says here according to nikolai al assad may be hiding in a safe house in azerbaijan I hear it's lovely there this time of year. Let's go get him. So I hope you guys will go to enjoy another episode. If you guys missed my one year video from yesterday, it was a lot of fun to record. It's a very long video, so if you guys want to skip it, skip through it and stuff and just see the stuff you want to see. Uh, it's a very fun video and I would recommend you guys watch it. Uh, just because it was fun to you know go back and check out uh, everything that I did over this past year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and jump into the mission called Safe House.
back and are standing by for new orders.
alive here. We are ready to attack and are standing by for new orders. Why'd you do it? Where did you get the bomb? Lam akun wara adalik. Who the? Lam akun wara adalik. Who? Give me a name. A name. I want his name. Sir, it's his cell phone. Who was that, sir? Zakayev. Imran Zakayev. So there we go, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed Safe House. I'm actually surprised. I actually didn't die once in that entire mission. That mission, I usually die at least 10 times. Like, that mission has to be one of the hardest missions in this game on Veteran. Like, because each house has an infinite spawn of enemies. So if you don't go into that house and eliminate every enemy in there they'll keep respawning over and over and over again until i mean infinitely so you have to really push forward and you know clear the houses with the shotguns as soon as possible and i'm actually really surprised i didn't die because the btrs can destroy you i died a f almost died a few times as you guys saw but i mean i had a lot of fun i love that mission and now we're going into my absolute favorite missions of all time now we're going into the missions. Uh, actually, I'll save and quit now. Uh, we're actually going into the missions that are my absolute favorite in Call of Duty history, believe it or not. We're going to be jumping into All Gillied Up next video. I'm probably actually going to do All Gillied Up and One Shot, One Kill in one video. But these are my absolute favorite missions in all of Call of Duty history. 
I absolutely love them. They're so fun. I love the, um, you know, the setting of it in Chernobyl, Ukraine. When I got Call of Duty 4 on Xbox 360 and I played this campaign the first time back in 2013, back in 2013, I just got really intrigued about Chernobyl and everything about that. But it's a very, these are my absolute favorite missions of all time. No other missions compare. Uh, even though I have, even though Call of Duty 4 campaign isn't my favorite campaign out of all of the games, these are my two favorite missions in the game. So uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. I will definitely have this, these two missions out for you on Tuesday. And I will see you guys on another Call of Duty World War II or revisiting Call of Duty campaigns video very, very soon.